Spider-Man was big. That's another one where I went the, the night it came out to see. Uh, lived up to the hype. Sam Raimi did a pretty good job. For me, the highlight of it was uh, having James Franco there. Man's a genius. Love all his work. Like, you know, Spider-Man is... I liked... Spider-Man was great because I think uh, Tobey Maguire totally hit the nail and it like totally got Peter Parker and uh, he's kind of a, a weak Spider-Man I thought but I thought Parker was nailed perfectly I liked Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker I didn't really like him as Spider-Man but overall it was you know it was an okay movie uh with Tobey Maguire yeah yeah <laughs> I liked the first Spider-Man I liked the second Spider-Man, so I was pretty excited when they came out. I thought he did a good job as Spider-Man. I like Andrew Garfield better, but I liked the first Spider-Man. That was yeah, another one. I saw that, at, I think it was like 11 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday, and the theater was absolutely packed. I did not think there was going to be that many Spider-Man fans, to be completely honest with you. I thought, I thought the movie was going to bomb, and nobody was going to care, and no one was going to be in the theater completely wrong on all accounts. <laughs> you know, Green Goblin is the iconic super, well, Spider-Man villain. Through some shuffling of the space-time continuum, uh, the Green Goblin was probably actually modeled after Willem Dafoe. I like that it was my second date with my now current wife, my only wife, I probably shouldn't say current, and, uh, she hated it, and I made her watch it, because it was too early on in the relationship for her to say, I hate this movie, I don't want to watch it with you. Um, the scene where Uncle Ben gets killed is still, like, is still when I watch that movie, it's, like, emotional every time. It's just, you read it in the comics, oh, yeah, my uncle died, I have to avenge him, and it, not until the movie did I really feel the weight of that moment on Peter Parker. It was just like, holy crap, like, how did he not become kind of, like, a darker vigilante than he is. Like, he's kind of a... As dark and scary as his life kind of is in the comics, uh, the, the movie, he still has this really positive outlook, which is really interesting, and I think it's one of the things that really makes him a great superhero is no matter what life throws at him, he'll get into his depressive ruts, but, you know, he'll really come out. But I didn't like the fact that he was generating his own webs. Um, if, if, you know, if that was going on, he really should have ate more, probably a high-carb diet. You know, if he was manufacturing that stuff. I don't know where it was coming from. I, I, <laughs> you probably have to eat a lot of carbs. Um, maybe a lot of protein. I don't know. But they never. Those were questions that I wanted answered. I think in the comics, it's the omega-3 fatty acids break down <laughs> into, <laughs> into webbing. Right. It makes him smarter. So he has a lot of tuna, web. avocados. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. That, that's that's where it went. I wonder, like, what if, though, he only ate at McDonald's, what that webbing would look like? I wonder if it would last, or if it would shoot out very long. He would probably, like, it would probably be able to hold, like, a three-pound baby or something, and that's it, if all he ate was ice cream in McDonald's. Things that I wish I could. It's kind of a, you know, space western. Cowboy western sort of thing in outer space and um, you know it's a country western in space something that was never done before fly uh, now we're talking I totally um, missed the boat on Firefly admittedly when it came around Firefly is one of my favorite shows of all time I thought it was a brilliant brilliant show unbelievably the cast was unbelievable um, it just unfortunately it didn't last and it's very disappointing about that um, it was pretty cool and then it was it was gone yeah yeah Never to come back. And I ended up watching the entire series from start to finish in one shot. And then I have been suffering terrible withdrawal since then. Found the box set on sale at a CD warehouse for like 30 bucks. Watched the entire thing in an afternoon, like in a day, and was hooked for like forever. Um, I really enjoyed it and I was really glad when we finally got the movie, Serenity, to like wrap everything up. So that's, you know, that was my, my little joy for the like, disappointment of them canceling that show. A giant, when they both launch rocket punches simultaneously. I think you're talking about Pacific Rim. No, I'm talking about Firefly. Well, I might have the who, Japanese translation wrong on that. It was very big letters. Who was, was the who was the uh, who was the lead in, in this Firefly? Uh, well, it was obviously Tommy who pilots Transor Z because he's like more the 
one of the more popular giant robots. All right, and, we're, uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the next one. <laughs>